Hello and welcome to a LEGO Mock Showcase video. This is a half-length coach for my Custom Express. So I just absolutely know there are people who are watching this and going, why Luke? A half-length coach? Why? Well, the answer is simple. I saw a friend of mine do it and I want to do the same thing. So the idea came about when a fellow friend and LEGO Thomas builder, the LEGO Railway series, was building his Northwestern Railway Express and he decided to add a couple of half-length coaches. And I thought, you know what? That looks really cool. It's so different and it stands out. It's not prototypical, but you know what? I don't really build that many realistic things anyway, so let's do it. Let's go all in and let's make a half-length coach, because why not? I decided to make this a six-wheel coach, because why not? I've got the wheels for it, but I've also decided not to put too many details around the wheels either. And this is the front of the coach. So this side is completely flat-faced with no gangway. On the other side, there is a gangway, and that will be facing the entire express. This side will be the locomotive end, because the main locomotive I am using does not have a corridor tender. So it would make more sense, at least to me, for there to not be a corridor on this side, because there's no way for the people in this coach to get to the locomotive. And the people in this coach are workers on the express. So I like the idea of this being a little getaway coach of sorts. Not to say there are other places in the Express where workers can't go, but I like the idea of this being a dedicated coach just for them. And I was tempted to make this a full-length coach, but at the same time I thought, well, maybe a full-length coach would be a bit too much, and besides, I do want to experiment with a half-length coach anyway. So that's how this all really came together. Interior detailing for this coach is quite simple, but at the same time, this is all I kind of really want it to be. The tile floor is using 2x2 two two white tiles, mainly because I had loads of these to hand, but at the same time it's a very bright clean effect, and I do like this. All of the coaches on my express now have names to them, dedicated after friends of mine in the LEGO train hobby, but for this coach I didn't actually think of a name, so I kept it a bit simple and just used my one, which is Triton. And in all of the coaches, including this one, now have the Triton LEGO Railway crest in the middle of its coach wall which is the same crest I use as the channel profile picture. I am also going to give a shout out to the website Way Too Many Bricks, who was able to make these printed bricks for me. Now you can see here that the red used on this brick is not the same shade of red as Lego Red, but that is solely because of an error on my behalf when making this image. There was a bit of trial and error in printing these bricks, but at the same time I am so happy with how these turned out. All the other printed bricks I have used previously came from way too many bricks, and it is an incredible service. Literally, everything came out perfectly. So if you want some printed bricks and you live in the UK, way too many bricks is the best place I can suggest. I will leave a link to that website in the description. And that is basically it. Thank you all ever so much for watching. This was a very funky thing to build, and I know that there is a lot of people that don't like it when people build something that isn't prototypical, but it's supposed to fit in with a realistic or prototypical set. But at the same time, this is the power of Lego. This is something I want to build, and I have the power and capability of doing it. And besides, it's fun. It's different, mostly. There's so much realistic modelling going on in the Lego train scene, so seeing something like this, at least to me, is way more fun. So thanks again for watching, in the description you can find a link to my Discord server where you can chat with like-minded fans of LEGO trains and Nerf blasters. Also in the description you can find links to my Instagram and Flickr pages for some sneak peeks and behind the scenes action. Keep an eye out on my community tab for polls and updates, thank you all ever so much for watching, be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. I will see you all in the next episode, bye bye.